You've come. Karama! How are your injuries? A wound like that is nothing in the face of my authority. Right. The authority of pride. It lets you control the human body, right? Which means it can heal wounds, too. How insightful of you. That being said, it's very like you to be so concerned about your opponent, Hinata. You're the very picture of foolishness, you know. You made it this far, all for the sake of destroying my ideals. That alone is proof that you have failed to comprehend the extent of your stupidity. My way is the path of justice. Your definition of justice is no one but yours. Hmm? You are the only fool here. Your beliefs are flawed, and yet you proudly believe they're infallible. But I'm not like you. I know my definition of justice isn't absolute. I have my weaknesses. My anxieties. But despite that... I can't let you get away with what you've done. I will stand by my ego. Your... ego? Despicable! No person in any position of leadership should ever utter such drivel. Huh. It would seem I was the ideal candidate for student council president after all. I make decisions based on what is just, not what I desire. Will no one but me think of the people? You keep talking about justice, but in the end, it's all just to stroke your own ego. I'll admit we're similar, but you're far more short-sighted than I am. You care only about yourself. No, you're wrong. At the very least, I am not one to boast about my ego like you. Anyone so proud of their own selfish wants is not fit to lead. You never deserve to be president of the student council. Your opinion is the same as your justice. No one but yours. What did you say? It was our peers who elected me as student council president. I have my own values. My own justice. My ego dictates that I do what I think is right. I was elected because others resonated with what I believed in. Those beliefs will hold fast. They didn't falter then, and they won't falter now. It's as simple as that. I will always do what I think is right. There will be those who will agree with my values, and those who won't. And that's fine. I know I can't please everyone, and I'm not trying to. I just want to do the right thing. Fool! You brandish your self-centered philosophy and deceive others. Your very existence is evil. You don't care about anyone else. Unlike you, Kurama. I don't decide what's best for people myself. I recognize that everybody has their own will. You steal that will and turn them into your puppets, plunging them into a joyful despair. 
In my eyes, I determine that it's you who's beyond redemption. You and no one else. It's for that reason that we will defeat you and the other Pact Bearers and return the Academy to normal. You only say that out of ignorance to what awaits you. You've no hope of besting me. Your defeat is inevitable. Without me, the remaining students will be lost to despair. They may even perish. You are letting your pessimism rule you, Karama. I, for one, don't plan to give up. It's your logic that will bring harm to others. That in itself is evil. I will never allow it. With that... I shall save you both. I shall stop you with my authority. You will know what justice is. Now, come and remake these fools in my image. Superbia. between those two. Vanitas, is that you? Indeed it is. Oh, right. Ahem. Here I come. <laughs> you remembered. Anyway, does this mean you're going to fight alongside us? You are the Vice President's monarch, after all. Now, wherever did you get that idea? I make it a point to avoid direct participation. This fluffy body isn't built for brutal confrontation. I guess Chio's practically got you on a leash anyway. Yeah. I've made up my mind, Vice President. We're going to defeat Karama and come back safely for Chio and all the others. Let's go, Nozomi. I'll be your strength. Here I go.
take point. Leave it to me. Beyond mercy. Here I go. You're open. Here I go. I alone am right. Get ready. Here I go. You're open. Here I go. Vice President. Understood. Take <laughs> Deplorable. Take point! Of course. Fools! 
as if you could even scratch me. I refuse to yield. I can't afford to. Shatter the ideal before he can act. Doing so will render void his pact. The road was wet and red, as if paint had spilled upon it. The light, too, was red. Had I stopped him, he would have never been hit. I knew it was dangerous, and yet I did nothing. And now, he'll never come back. Why? Why didn't I stop him? I can still hear his screams. I can still feel that woman's slim fingers digging into my shoulders. You killed him. I thought the same myself. It was because I didn't stop him. Because I was foolish and weak. She was right. I killed him. Never again will he get to come home. To smile and play the way he once did. The fault lies with me. I've lost the right to cry, no matter how sad I am. I want to become a righteous person, so that no one ever has to suffer by my hand again. I don't want to be a fool any longer. The ideal of will contains a wish's formative events. The trauma endured from losing a friend cost him his innocence. I suppose we're not that different after all. Come on, Vice President. Let's take Karama and make our way back to the Academy. And thanks for everything. Miss Sora, can I ask you something? Is it about Mr. Hitotsubashi not regaining consciousness? Yes. Ideals are a physical manifestation of a pact bearer's ego. If the ideals are destroyed, their sense of self shatters as well. This varies according to the strength of their wish, but their memories and personality can also be lost. But please, be at ease. His consciousness should return eventually, though the parts he's missing never will. What is lost cannot be regained. That is simply the way of the world. I'm sorry for this, Karama. At the very least, I promise I didn't lie to you. I'll restore the Academy to how it used to be. It appears that with Mr. Hitotsubashi's authority gone, you can now access the other facilities. I'll be counting on you to handle the remaining pact bearers. They should each be in their own separate buildings.
blocking the way anymore, so you should be able to come and go from the building now. I did hear there was mist in the first year, second year, and club buildings, though. I wonder if there are packed bearers in each of them, too. Like how Kurama was in this one. Ugh. Everyone's got their hands full dealing with the aftermath of Kurama's actions. I really do want to stay by your side, Vice President. But I'm needed here right now. Sorry about this. Don't put yourself in too much danger, okay? If you run into any trouble, you can come talk to me. I'll help you however I can, no matter what you need. Well, hello there. Long time no see. Goodness. You forgot my name? How terribly, terribly rude of you. Though, I suppose I'm also at fault for looking like her. I really should get a makeover one of these days. I'm Yoru. You remember me, don't you? Wonderful! Now I've got a question for you. Why, pray tell, are you trying to defeat the Pact Bearers? Hunting down the Pact Bearers is just a means to your end, is that right? You should know that there are seven other Pact Bearers in this academy. Why don't you get to know them? Think long and hard about why you're doing this. Now, the time has come. I may be able to give you an alternate solution. If you want one, that is. <laughs> And with that, I must say farewell. My time is at a premium, after all. Ta-ta!
That badge of yours. Your second year, correct? Is everyone in the second year building all right? Oh, I see. I guess you wouldn't know how things are going inside then. That's too bad. Well, if you hear anything, please let me know. The first floor is covered in mist, so we can't just walk in and see for ourselves. Picking on the weak, huh? Not on my watch. Uh, Christ. Uh, Trying to fight these lame brains is gonna get you nowhere fast, you know? <laughs> Are you all right? Of course I am. Whew, that looks painful. Couldn't you have found a more pacifistic way to settle this? You're giving me too much credit here. Besides, you can't spell pacifist without fist. You want peace? You gotta fight for it. Nah. That's just something my gramps used to say, though. Mm-hmm. You just leave these kids to me. I'll take care of them. They're all yours. I didn't rough them up too badly, but I'll rest a little easier if you've got them, Dr. Nako. Yes, yes. Leave it to old Dr. Shiro Neko. So, never seen you around before. Nah, not that I care either way. Scram. You'll get hurt hanging around here. Have it your way. You want to go inside that bag? Fine. I'll show you around. Interference? From another authority? Hey, you a pact bearer? Thought so. You're a lot stronger than you look. My power didn't do a damn thing to you. I'm Ryo Taro Date, the Pact Bearer of Gluttony. What's your name? Why are you here? So, you're the Vice President of the TSC, huh? All right, I get it. You want to defeat the other pack bearers and turn everything back to normal. You gotta be the real deal if you manage to take down Karama. Yeah. He was always bugging me to team up with him. His grand scheme didn't jive with me. So I beat him to a pulp. 
I went out of this academy as much as the rest of you. But the thing is, I can't afford to lose my authority. If we don't see eye to eye, we're gonna have to fight it out sometime or another. <laughs> but not right now. There's this weird disease going around the second year building. Ten to one says it's someone's authority. Don't know why, but some pack bears bent on making everybody in there suffer. Grinds my gears just thinking about it. I'm gonna find out who's behind all this and beat the crap out of them. I can take you on after that, if you want. Huh. Actually... It'll go a lot faster if you help out. You catch my drift? <laughs> I think Gramps had a saying for this. Keep your enemies close, and your nemesis closer. Good looking out, Mr. VP. Act One! Ryotaro Date! Cause and effect! So, I'd love to get this manhunt started right away. But let's exchange some info first. How'd you manage to take down a pack bearer? Okay, so breaking these ideal things voids the pact, and the way you find them is by getting calls in the mist. Makes sense to me. The mist is all over the building. It should lead us to the ideals of whatever pack bear is causing this bug. Let's hurry up and investigate the mist so we can waste that asshole. Oh, yeah, the entrance was right here. My bad. It's pretty much how it looks. They're griping and groaning in pain, but physically, there's nothing wrong with them. And the only ones getting sick are the students in this building. But that's not all. I can feel a trace of someone's authority coming from them. My ability is called Hostile Takeover. It lets me steal power from others. What I feel from the people in this building reminds me of what I took from Karama. It's twisted. The kind of feeling you can only get from an authority. It's not all that strong, though. Probably wouldn't affect anybody with some resistance to authorities, like us pack bearers.
Mr. Tsumabuki, it hurts so much. What a pitiful, pitiful sight. Oh, the humanity. <laughs> the world. <laughs> and God. Are ever so cruel. And you are? I don't recognize you. But judging by your badge, you appear to be a second year. Be wary. This building is cursed. It's been like this since these anomalies began appearing in the Academy. My precious students, one after another. Oh. Just what did we, what did they do to deserve this? It's madness. It must be a curse or some form of divine punishment. All we can do is pray. A curse? Divine punishment? What a load of bull. Let's get going, Mr. VP. Sticking around here ain't gonna do us much good. It... hurts... help... me... Keep it moving. Hold it right there! Real Haro. How can you be so... Uh, dude? You're kinda in our way. Your friends are suffering right before your eyes. How can you pass them by so callously? Haven't you the heart to care for others? Friends? I don't even know their names. How are they my friends? How? What a pity. You were such a good, honest child. How did you become so rotten? What would your late grandfather say if he could see you now? Not much. He wouldn't care about small-time shit like this. Just leave me alone, Mr. Tsumabuki. I will not. Your grandfather and I were close friends. What's that got to do with me? So, if you're not gonna leave me alone, then what are you gonna do? I shall pray. What? I shall pray for you to find your once kind heart. For your sins to be forgiven. For your continued safety within this accursed school. I shall pray. Even if the only prayers you receive are mine. What a load of crock. Prayers can't save people. Wait! Do that to Mr. Tsumabuki. Hasn't Mr. Tsumabuki suffered enough? I can't believe he'd hurt an old man. That guy's the lowest of the low. <sighs> what? What? Nothing. I was just thinking. You guys are all sick in more ways than one. 
There's a staircase further down the hall. We can get to the first floor from there. Let's get going, Mr. VP. Oh, right. Wrong way. Yo. Hey, Dr. Kakeru. Damn. 
That's one messy desk. Dr. Nako was complaining about it earlier, but this is way worse than what I was thinking. <laughs> oh, Ryotaro. What? This desk is as clean as ever right now. And you're proud of that, old man? That's young man to you. Hey, Vice Prez, how'd you manage to back this character? I hate to break it to you, but even I can't cure a total lack of direction. Wait, you don't know how bad it is? Oh, right. You've got memory loss. Probably better that way in this case. Hey, I'm trying to be nice and polite over here. Why you gotta come at me like that? I never get lost. Wait, you never noticed? Noticed what? I'm just stating facts. Yeah, maybe I take some detours, but I always get where I'm going. Eventually. <laughs> detours. So that time you vanished during that field trip was just one big month-long detour? When you finally returned to the Academy, you brought a whole truckload of souvenirs with you. Literally. Man, that takes me back. I think I got the teacher some Ryukyu and pottery. Pottery? All you gave me was a creepy wooden doll. That's a Nipopo. I got it when I stopped by Hokkaido on the way back from the school camping trip. Man, good memories. Hitchhiking, meeting different people wherever I went. It helped me learn that it's possible to get by, even if you're flat broke. You're a good kid, Vice Prez. And good kids don't want to grow up like him. Got it? So? Why are you two running around together? You already know about the other world and pack bears and shit, right? I'm the pack bear of gluttony. <clears throat> don't get me wrong. I don't really see eye to eye with these TSC people. But the pack bear in the second year building is a real piece of work. Until that clears up, we're in a ceasefire. The second year building? Isn't Dr. Shironeko there? Is she okay? Yeah, she's fine. Running around, healthy as ever. That's good to hear. Make sure Dr. Shironeko stays safe, all right? That goes for both of you. I can't slack off if she never comes back. How'd you manage to trick the Academy into hiring a sleazebag like you to take care of us? Don't worry about it. I'm the kind of guy who knows when and where to be. I can handle things just fine if I put my mind to it. Oh yeah? I'll believe that when I see it. <laughs> Maybe you will someday. Anyway, I take it you're here for a checkup. Two guys, huh? Nah. I'll still do my job. You seem kind of pale. Let me take a look at you. You're good to go. Don't push yourself too hard now. Yo. Ryotaro? 
Been a while, Prez. Well, Vice President, I see you're letting in just about anybody now. Hey, what the hell is this? I thought you guys were the true student council. This place is a dump. So this is that view, Taro, huh? He's practically an academy legend. Partially because he's one of the heirs to the Date group. And because he brought in a nude model for art class. And because he got separated during a field trip and ended up touring all of Japan before returning. And because the Academy added multiple pages to the school handbook specifically because of him. He's made quite a name for himself. During the last school entrance ceremony, he vanished abroad for an entire year. He didn't even tell his family. He only just got back. That gap year he took is the reason he's in your grade. But he should actually be in Nozomi's. Yes, he should. His disappearance sent the entire academy into an uproar. So, Ryotaro, why have you come to the TSC? Me and Mr. VP are partners now. Just until we take down this pesky little pack bear. That's all. Excuse me? How do you know about the pack bears in the first place? Because I'm the pack bearer of gluttony. Duh. You? A pact bearer? I think I need to sit down. <laughs> so your current comrade is a derelict drifter of a delinquent, hmm? Where's that voice coming from? You've given another pact bearer your clearance. It should be no trouble to make my appearance. <laughs> Such a feisty, fearless fellow. Look upon me, for I am Vanitas, a mighty being born of the abyss. And you, human, are irresistibly interesting. Intriguing, in fact. Devote yourself dutifully to my dominion, and I may be fain to furnish a few favors. This a stuffed animal or something? No, wait. Is this thing a demon? Eh, not like I care either way. The only will I follow is my own. Gah. It would seem, VP, that you have quite a knack for bringing these utterly deranged people back. Huh. This little guy's pretty damn fluffy. What is this, Rex fur? That's some swanky shit. Hey, stop! Be gentle with Mr. Bunny! You're going to stretch his ears out! Ryotaro, humor me for a moment. Has the Vice President explained how dangerous using your authority can be? Yeah. And? So what? So what? It's capable of distorting the very fabric of our reality, that's what. It can't be that big a deal. I mean, it's nothing compared to a weapon of mass destruction. I ain't planning on giving it up for anything. And I ain't gonna let you guys take me out either. I've got plans for this power. We're teaming up because it's convenient. But if any of you get in my way after this, we just might end up on opposite sides. Hey, hey, Mr. Bunny! Why are your ears so floppy and long? <laughs> 
why without them my rabbit-like form would be wrong. Hey, hey, Mr. Bunny. Why do you have a button for one of your eyes? <laughs> why? Because it's a part of my plushy disguise. Hey, hey, Mr. Bunny. Why is your mouth so wide and big? <laughs> why? All the better to eat you with... <laughs> Are they hitting it off? Seriously, though, why is your mouth so big? <laughs> to augment my menacing aesthetic. In other words, it's merely cosmetic. Menacing? How menacing can a stuffed rabbit possibly be? I am a being of all that is vain. The hollow and empty are my domain. I have thus taken the form of a bunny, all the more to rhyme with the word vanity. That's your reason? It doesn't even rhyme that well. Well, you don't have to be so curt. Even my feelings can get hurt. Mr. Tsumabuki was a friend of my gramps. I met him a couple of times when I was a kid. Pretty sure he was the dean of some other academy back then. He was kind of famous as an educator. I think the government even gave him an award or something. My gramps never shut up about how great he was. And from what I could tell, he was right. But about five years ago, Mr. Tsumabuki got sick and quit his old job. Even to the day my gramps died, he was worried about the guy. I remember it pretty well. Then two years ago, Mr. Tsumabuki came out of nowhere and showed up here. He seems different from what I remember, though. Real talk, I think the guy's gone senile. I mean, praying? In the middle of all this? If you've got time to pray, You've got the time to fix the problem yourself. Much better to take action than sit around crying. You'd have to be pretty messed up yourself to put a guy like that on a pedestal. Leaving things up to someone else is the same as ditching your own free will. Without it, what's the point in anything? That's no way to live if you ask me. Life's about proving your worth, after all. Leaving your mark on the world. Seems this place too is linked to the depths. This number connects to the singularity. Where's my thanks for all my charity? Go, Ryotaro! It's mutant time! Get ready! Away with you! Here I come. 
How's this? I'm with you! Deplorable. Take point! Understood. Checkmate. How irritating. It's in your hands. Got it. Good at this, Ryotaro. Just another step up the ladder. Let's go, Ryotaro. It's movie time. Here I go. Hm. Fruitless. Here I come. Understood. How 
irritating. It's in your hands. As you wish. Here I come. Ha! Deplorable. A simple test. You're good at this, Ryotaro. Just another step up the ladder.
counterattack. Have at you. That all you got? That all you got? Have at you. Counterattack. You're different from us, aren't you? past here hey you did you wander into the mist by accident it's dangerous past here you should turn back to keep you from going any further to get you to save us save you huh right hey you hey you it's dangerous There's a science lab in the opposite direction. You'll find what you're seeking there. The answer that'll save you. Everyone here understands that there's something wrong with us. We suffer all the more because of it. So please, ease our pain. What she's saying makes sense. But she is still an unsettled, so... Hey, hey, you! It's dangerous. Huh? I'm not lying. Huh? I told you I wasn't lying, didn't I? Persistent, aren't you? I already said I wasn't lying. T Cut the crap already. You are so infuriating! This is annoying as hell! I feel like I'm gonna lose it even more! Should've just listened and gone to the science lab. Should've just gone insane like us. inside and you're home free hurry up you you're different you aren't messed up you aren't poor and pathetic like us <sighs> must be nice I envy you please put us out of our misery from us. You're still normal. I'm right, aren't I? I can tell. Well, guess, really. <laughs> Man, I envy you. Hurry up and end our suffering, okay? Step inside and you're home free. What the hell? You 
gotta be kidding me! The pack bearer of pride has the power of biokinesis, the ability to manipulate the human body. A power like that's bad news. Puts my whole school doctor shtick at risk. That rock over there, one of those ideal things you were talking about? Looks like a piece of cheap jewelry. No wonder they break so easily. I've got a wish I need to fulfill. And I want to prove my worth, too. Gotta have power to do both. That's why I made a pact with the Monarch of Gluttony. It's not that complicated. Oh, you know what? Now that I think about it, I haven't had a dream about Yoru since the anomaly started either. You've met her, right, Mr. VP? Kurama mentioned having a similar dream himself. You guys talked? She did all the talking for me. Told me about the other world, monarchs, authorities. Didn't let me get a word in. Guess the dream's different for each pack bear. All right, let's get to work. This stuff is my magic gear, right? The Monarch of Gluttony gave me the rundown. Yeah. You surprised? They're pretty rare in Japan. Don't worry about my aim, though. My gramps beat the basics into my head. I won't screw anything up. Let's go, Ryotaro! It's moving time! Here I go! Take this! Here I come! I've got you! 
horrible. Take point. Understood. You're open. How irritating. It's in your head. Got it. My time to shine. Eat lead. How irritating. It's in your hands. As you wish. Ryotaro, just another step up the ladder.
vexatious. Enviable. Hateful. Detestable. Their unmerited joy. Their undeserved peace. Their unearned smiles. It was I who brought smiles to their faces. It was I who brought joy to their lives. Even though it was I who deserved it most. Why is it I who suffer so? Why is it I who wallows in anguish? They are unworthy, yet happy. While I am worthy, yet miserable. This world is unjust. This must be a mistake. If I must remain in misery, then they should be even more miserable than I. Oh. The vexation. The hell was that? Must be one jealous will. Probably means the sin is envy, huh? <laughs> what a lame-ass pack bearer. I'd never see eye to eye with someone like that. Rio Taro. My gramps graduated from here. Your grandpa did? Really? He was amazing. Used to be an architect before he built the Date group from the ground up. I figured maybe it was the school he went to. Thought I might get something out of it too. It sounds like you really admire him. <laughs> it's not that. I don't look up to him or anything. I just want to be as strong as he used to be. Ryotaru's kind of an oddball, but I don't think he's a bad guy. Nozomi still won't let her guard down around him, though. No surprise there. By the way, I heard that Dr. Shiro Neko is at the second year building. You've already met her, right? Wasn't she the greatest? for three years now. She's always looking out for Dr. Kakeru. Plus, she's the only one who never loses her patience with him. She's a real saint. <laughs> of the information humans analyze, they say 80% is derived from the eyes. I'll reveal the desires with which you concur by testing what colors and shapes you prefer. Question one. Which entity would you select from these two? If both claim they'll make all your wishes come true. Question two. Designate the dragon you deem most desirable. Question three. Would you prefer Hera, Austere and Spruce, or Moon Goddess Artemis, daughter of Zeus? Question four. On one person's mind is a mathematics test, the other a dream from their last night's rest. From out of these two, which does it seem is the one remembering their dream? Question five. You catch your partner cheating on you. In what way would you look at the two? Question six. You go to an all-you-can-eat buffet. 
Which set of food do you put on your tray? Question seven. Pick the picture you prefer. Question eight. You're instructed in art class to draw up a tree. Which one is closer to your mental imagery? These questions were drafted with envy in mind, but it seems that is not where your wants are aligned. Your desire for pride, though, is substantially high, so perhaps self-assertion is where your thoughts lie. It may be your high self-esteem grants reprieve from taking much stock in what others achieve, but envying others and jealous desire can just as well stoke one's inner fire. Your innate need for growth and self-affirmation would make such a fire its own compensation. What desires you follow are all up to you. Be true to your ego, as you already do. So, I heard from Madame Prez that you got amnesia. Does losing your memory change your personality too? Right. Guess there's no point in asking if you wouldn't remember. But speaking of personality changes, Mr. Tsumabuki was a normal old man before. What could have made him change so much? I wouldn't want to end up like him when I get old, all shriveled and spineless. Don't put yourself in too much danger, okay? Clearing up. Now I can see what's going on in here. I can carry out any students who aren't feeling well, too. I thought I told you it was too dangerous to come inside. It's fine. The mist is gone. You got amnesia, right, Mr. VP? Do you remember Dr. Nako? I guess it doesn't matter either way. Hey now! You're hurting my feelings here! I'm Neko Yasuragi, licensed physician. Normally, I'm helping out that lazy bones, Dr. Kakeru. You can call me Dr. Shiro Neko. Who are you, by the way? You seem to be a second year, but I don't think I know you. You're the vice president of the TSC? It's nice to meet you. You wait outside, Dr. Nako. I'll bring out anyone who's really in bad shape. We'd all be done for if something happened to you. Hey, I told you to call me Dr. Shiro Nako. And I'm not going to just wait outside. How can you expect me to stand by when there are students in danger? I'm the doctor and the adult here. You've got to trust me. I do trust you. I'm just worried. Well, don't be. I'm just going to check on the first aid room. If it comes down to it, I'll bring out a couple of students, too. I'll be fine. Guess there's no changing your mind. We'll take you to the first aid room just to be safe. You mind, Mr. VP? <laughs> Rio Taro has a good heart, Mr. Vice President, so don't give up on him too quickly. Whatever. Let's just head to the first aid room already. You're going the wrong way, Rio Taro. It's in the opposite direction. Oh, right. My bad. I'm gonna go on ahead. This 
sense of direction is awful. Have you noticed? When all the anomalies started, he couldn't even find the second year building. He just wandered around campus. If I hadn't found him, he'd still be scratching his head next to the old dormitory. Surprisingly cute, isn't it? You seem kind of paid. You're good to go. Don't push yourself. It hurts. It hurts. Everyone looks white as a sheet, and they're sweating up a storm. It's okay. I've got you now. I examined all the places they said were hurting, but it's no good. I couldn't find anything out of the ordinary. Like Rio Taro said, it's almost like the suffering itself is contagious. The source might be beyond our comprehension, like the mist is. Ryoko here has the worst of it. I'll bring her with me when I leave. We should have Dr. Kakeru take a look at her. Ma'am, please wait. Mr. Tsumabuki said we shouldn't leave the building. It'll only make us even more sick. <laughs> huh? Don't worry about it. You're the medical professional, aren't you? Just do what you think is best, Dr. Neko. Right. Don't worry. I'll be with you the whole way. Rio Taro, Mr. Vice President, could you two help me carry her out? No prob. Hey, you shouldn't be on your feet. What happened? Sorry, Dr. Shiraneko. It's just... The moment I left the building... That awful pain disappeared. 
as if it never existed. But... How? What's going on with me? <sighs> Try to stay calm. Let's get you to the infirmary for now. Can you walk on your own? Yeah. You think it's because she got out of range of the authority? Maybe it doesn't actually make them sick. Maybe it's just inflicting pain on the people nearby. What kind of jealousy leads to a jacked up power like this? We'd better prepare ourselves. This pack bear's looking like more of a psycho by the minute. There's no telling what shit they'll pull. Akibara warned you, but you refused to heed her. This happened once before. One student couldn't take the pain and forced his way past the mist, barely making it out of the building. <sighs> As a result of their actions, the illness worsened still. Some even died. Oh, these poor, pitiful children. You are the cause of their suffering. Your foolishness has antagonized their illness. It might even be the death of them. Uh, uh, death? Uh, you mean we're going to die? Bring Ryoko back. If her leaving made things worse, then her coming back might make it better. Yeah, it has to. Please, you've got to bring her back. I'm in so much pain. I don't want to die. Man, you guys are pathetic. Nothing but a pack of worthless deadbeats. All you do is drag people down to your level. So what? As long as it helps everyone get better, who cares? That's easy for you to say. Everybody suffering equally is way better than one of us getting off easy. It's common sense. Knock it off with the utilitarianism crap already. This ain't about what's good or bad. That shit means jack to me. 
Makes me want to hurl. I'm saying what you guys are doing is dumb as hell. Ain't nothing cool about it. That's all. You could never understand their suffering, nor my own. You who are privileged. You who live only by the impulses of your ego. You're right. I don't get it, and I'm not gonna try. I got my own problems, and yours ain't one of them. Just how selfish can you be? You are the scion of the Date family, yet you don't have a care in the world. This is the embodiment of injustice. Can it, old man? Don't judge me by your standards. Mr. VP. Don't even think about bringing her back. Logic isn't gonna apply here. We don't know for sure if it'll make things better. If they want her back so bad, they should go and get her themselves. Or actually, maybe they should all just leave at once. Wouldn't that fix everything? Uh, uh, the, that won't do! There's no way they can all get outside. Some are in so much pain, they can't even move. Surely, some would be left behind. Those who fail to make it out may die from agony if they bear this illness's burden alone. <sighs> Go ahead and suffer together then. I'm done here. You! Do you possess even a shred of empathy? Who knows? The only person I do anything for is me. Even if I do help someone else, it's just because I wanted to. Hey, you having second thoughts? About the girl we helped out, I mean. <laughs> Sounds like the two of us are cut from the same cloth. I don't regret a damn thing. I'm no saint, though. I'm just me. So I'm going to do what I want. And if things turn out worse because of it, then whatever. I'm not going to beat myself up over it. I don't care if what I do gets in someone else's way. We're in this together now, so you better be ready. That's all. It's just... Nah, never mind. Let's get to looking for that call, Mr. VP. I'm pissed as all hell right now. We gotta smash those ideals pronto. That'll put an end to this. It seems this place, too, is linked to the depths. 
This number connects to the singularity. Where's my thanks for all my charity? Let's go, Rio Taro. It's meeting time. Here I go. Take this. Here I come. I'm with you! Deplorable. Take point! Understood. You're good at this, Ryotaro. Just another step up the ladder. Let's go, Ryotaro. It's meeting time. Here I go. Ha! Here I come. Take point! 
Understood. Checkmate. Slaughter them! Eradicate! So jealous. Unforgivable. No mercy. Get ready. You're open. Here I come. Good. Deplorable. Take point. Understood. You're open. Slaughter them. Here I come. All you, Mr. GP. Leave it to me. You're open. Deplorable. Take point. Leave it to me. Checkmate. You're good at this, Ryotaro. Just another step up the ladder. That door there is locked. So you're the one they chose this time, huh? Faith is madness. Madness is divine. I am he who preaches God's will. He who brings salvation to the lost lambs. He who brings salvation to the lost lambs. I am he who preaches God's will. I am he who preaches God's will. Faith is madness. <laughs> now I can play all the games I want. No homework. No homework, no worries, just 
Games, games, and more games. This is bliss. Lock up and head home. That was supposed to be it. Close the doors and windows. <laughs> now I can play all the games I want. <laughs> what the hell? I've locked the door from this side. You can't escape now. Follow God's will, and be swallowed up by the madness of the miss. That's right! The madness! The anomalies! It's God's will. We are the chosen sacrifices. We must abhor reason in favor of madness. Once the madness pervades the entire academy, we will receive our absolution. The path to salvation will appear. For the sake of our deliverance, let the madness consume you! <sighs> Abra-dabra. Abra-dabra. <laughs> what the hell? I've locked the door from the- You can't escape now. No, 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 no! It is God's will to cleanse your soul with madness. It is the ultimate act of love. If we do not satisfy God's demands, the path to salvation will never open. You must go insane. All is for the sake of our deliverance, for God's will, for destiny. <sighs> <laughs> now I can play. <laughs> now I can play. <laughs> what the hell? I've locked the. You can't escape. 
hidden folder. Data? No, it can't be. Don't tell me you looked in it! Impossible! That account is password protected! You have to be bluffing. How much could a piece of data change anyway? It won't affect your fate. Be still and let the madness consume you! What? It can't be! You really managed to log into my account? What a total lack of netiquette! Your behavior is demonic! Still, as long as you lose your sanity here, my secrets will remain safe. You demon! That does it. I'll make you forget everything you saw by force! <laughs> Sounds good to me. Bring it on. Talk big, but he wasn't all that. Right. Now we can get out of the computer lab. But, uh... Maybe try to forget about what we saw. He who brings salvation to the lost lambs. Is madness. Madness is divine. These things always look cheap, no matter how many times I see them. Never would have thought a little rock like this could lead to you losing your authority. Speaking of which... What happens to a pack bear when all their ideals are shattered? Their soul, huh? Ideals are basically a person's principles, yeah? I thought that might have been it when I first heard what they were called. Guess I was right. I really can't afford to have my pack broken. My power, my soul. If they're gone, I won't be myself anymore. Sorry, but you just caught me in a shitty mood. Don't expect me to go easy on you. Let's go, Ryotaro. It's movie time. Get ready. Here I come. She won this! Deplorable.
activate. Excited, huh? So jealous. Payback. Irritating. I'll kill you. Get ready. Here I come. All you, Mr. GP. I can do this. Sweet irony. Deplorable. Slaughter them! Excited, huh? Irritating. So this is madness. Here I come. Take point! I can... do this! Checkmate! Slaughter them! Checkmate! You're good at this, Ryotaro. Just another step up the ladder. I seek the power to make things equal, for I am suffering without reason, for I despise those who revel in a happiness they do not deserve. I want the power to fix this inequity, the power to correct this disparity, power strong enough to distort the natural laws of cause and effect, for I have the right to be special. I will distribute this suffering in the proper manner, Without discrimination, if no equality exists in this world, then I shall create it myself. The power to distort cause and effect, huh? If that's what's been putting people in pain, then the pain has to be coming from somewhere.
Wait up. I got something to say. About the upperclassman Dr. Shiro Neko brought over. Dr. Kakeru examined her, but there was nothing wrong with her at all. Apparently, she ran out of the infirmary bursting with energy. Dr. Shiro Neko seemed satisfied about it, so she went back to the second year building. I didn't get a chance to talk to her. I kinda wish I did. So, why are you fighting the pack bearers? I get that you went out of the academy, but what I can't figure out is the reason. It's not like you have any memories. Why even bother? Chiyo's health isn't the greatest, huh? You want her to be somewhere without any mist. I can respect that. Protecting someone you care about, I mean. <laughs> You're a selfless guy with a selfless ego. I don't have any problem with people fighting for what matters most to them. But I got my own way of doing things. And I'm proud of that. Our wishes might clash one of these days. Let's have a fair fight if it comes down to it. This ain't about who's right or wrong. We gotta let our feelings do the talking. Still, if there was some way to get out of here without fighting the other pack bearers, maybe we wouldn't have to go against each other. I don't know. Don't you think it's worth looking into? Answers don't just fall out of the sky. You gotta look for them and snatch them up. <laughs>